This is a short video to tell you about the Oracle Utilities Analytics Visualization for WAX, which is working as a cloud services. In this video, I will be showing you the different features and the flexibility OUAV gives to you and what how you can use this. OUAV actually enables any organization to take the data-driven approach or a data-driven informed decision making. The, the UI of the OUAV, the robustness and the flexibility is very interactive and informed. It simplifies the, uh, all the information, the complex information available of an organization and give it in a simplified interactive way on, on that. It gives a lot of deep in, uh, deeper insights about different business challenges and different questions which we are driving, the different aspects of the decisions which can be taken based on the data. And the beauty of it is it is available from day one, which means that for a SaaS application, it is available from day one to be used on. As a part of OUAV VAX solution, we, um, as I mentioned earlier, it is ready, ready to go. It is available from day one with all your web subscription. Um, the data is real time. So, so whatever reports and the data analysis you want to do on the OUAV will be basically on the real time data that you have. It. And in my demo, I will show you how flexible it is used uh, so that any non-technical person can actually use OUAV to come up with the beautiful dashboards and insights. Yeah. We have built the back subscription and OUAV comes with the pre-built 148 plus pre-visualizations and 12 data sets. And this is a library which is actually growing with every release which we are making on it. Uh, we have given out of the box 127 calculations, which can, which is completely based on the industry standards and the formulas in, used by mass industries. These calculations can be used out of the box to develop your reports and can be directly used into it. Apart from the uh, out of the box data sets and subject areas, the OUAV also have a flexibility to mash up with the third party data in the sense that you can actually upload the Excel. For example, in case you have an asset, uh, some assets which are maintained in other systems, you can actually download that data into an Excel and upload into OUAV. All you need to do is to match the asset ID with uh, subject areas and you can actually combine both the data and create a visualization of it. Also, you have flexibility of creating your own custom data sets um, and you can write your own queries to get your data sets and then use that as as a part of your visualizations as out of the box um, wax solution you will have um, 12 wax OUAV projects which will which uh, basically consist of 148 pre-built visualizations so each project addressing specified business challenges and the business scenarios on it and we will see more about these in an upcoming demo on that so let's quickly jump to the demo of that. So this is our uh, Oracle um, OUAV instance so where you can uh, see this is the recently built project on the asset preventive maintenance performance. So this, this particular project actually gives you a snapshot of how asset maintenance strategies are performing and the overall health of the preventive maintenance program for the critical assets. As I told you, we have 12 different data sets which is um, pre-built to be used and this particular project is using actually four, which is on the activity work order, forecast check activity hours and forecast check resource hours. So these are all out of the box pre-built subject areas available, which can be used into creating a new reports or in enhancing the existing reports part. Now, Let's look into some of the features of this report and OUA features. So one of the key features over here is you are able to draw a beautiful layout of a dashboard or a report which, which is user friendly and interactive. It has the capabilities of generating a trend like how you see over here. You can see a preventive maintenance to corrective maintenance ratio which is distributed across the last six years uh, and based on the work order creation year part. Similarly, you can create a trend on the closure of the work orders and see the overall percentage of PM and CM. So it gives a complete picture of your organization, how you are doing on a PM to CM trend and amount of CMs which is affecting 
now on, on the on the overall part as you can see i hover over i can see the creation year and 26 hover over feature actually enables you to see a lot of details which is there like for example i can see that a normal type of work priority bucket has the most number of pm overdue work it and when i hover i get the count that it is 21 sorry it is a 31 work orders which are overdue and of the normal priority similarly we can look for the rest of the hover so before we proceed further, let me take a, a snapshot on the subject area. So as a part of the subject area, you will be getting a lot of dimensions available. So these dimensions can be used to slice and dice your data accordingly and can color code it. You can do the, the, the filter part of it. Like for example, the asset particular dimension. So all the fields which are in, in which we are interested for an asset is available here which we can use and drag and drop and uh, can use our uh, own visualizations to get it created on that. So like for example, we want to have, uh, like for example, let me create a new canvas for you and we want to create a visualization of all the preem activities for, for a particular, uh, by asset type. So we will go to the asset activity, we will go to the asset, so we will see that if I drag drop the asset type, you will see the list of all the asset types which is available in your system. As I mentioned, you already have a lot of measures or calculations already available. So these are all the calculations available with us. We can actually drag and drop and look for all the preventive maintenance uh, activities on this. And if I put those into the values, I get it. Now, this is in a tabular form, but OUAB allows me to change my visualizations on the fly. Like, for example, I want to change it to look into a horizontal bar format. So it is made into a horizontal bar format. Now, I didn't like the horizontal. I think I like the bar format. So I can clearly bar on it. Now you can see this bar, but the total numbers are distributed based on the right. So I want to see from top to bottom in the sense like the most number of preventive maintenance activities on which asset type is happening i can actually do the sorting of this from high to low and my graph goes down it also gives me a flexibility that okay i really don't like the color green and i want something else color on it i can actually go and change the color code say for example blue and then it gets into change you can uh, move this uh, into the format of tree map. Say, for example, you don't want to see in the bar format, but in your, you want to see it in the tree map format. So you just convert it to the tree map and you see that based on the si number of activities, the boxes sizes differs and you can go over to see what all um, and how much is the count. But is it looking good? No, I mean, there is no colors and we are all colorful people. So with just single drop of asset type from category to color and you see the magic you also see that you don't want the legend in it so that you use the maximum space of it so it's on a click of it where you can say none and your legend goes and uses it you have a flexibility of modifying so i don't like this particular heading which is by default coming and i want to overwrite it so i can actually overwrite the functionality and make it as a overall PM activities by asset time and then we go on the fly and we will change it. We can also uh, do one more element like we want to see the asset criticality. We want to see only the critical assets. We can actually go and draw asset criticality from the asset location and put that into the filters. So over here we can see, want to see only critical assets. So how I'm doing on the critical asset preventive maintenance and that's here you go. So you can create a filters on a visualization on a go and you will be able to change it. Now, for example, we I just don't want to see critical. I want to see high and critical on it. So we can just select high and critical and this will display on that. So, now coming to the PM, PM work activity, 
uh, that. So over here, I mean, if you see um, what we have shown is we have divided the PM work activity based on the criticality bucket, based on the activity status, based on the work priority bucket. So it gives me the view in three different ways of a PM work order and I can dissect it according to the will. The below portion actually gives me and the details of each and every activity, which is the PM activities with the details of description, asset IDs, location, and all. Uh, if, if you want to change the sequence of the visualization, it is really simple. All you need to do is just drag and drop over here and your sequence goes changes to that. So then it is that easy to change the visualization position. And you can also uh, change the visualization time as I shown here, like from this, if we want to move it to a tree map, we can actually quickly move to the tree map and we will be able to see the tree map. Another cool feature over here is like if we can further uh, drill down it, like for example, I can see that I have 60 preventive maintenance act, um, activities which are in active status. So if I go and do the keep selected, you will see that all my visualizations on this page are getting refreshed and I will come to know what the, those 60 ones where what are their criticalities, what are their priority buckets, and what are those. Now, for example, I really want to look into the uh, criticality bucket and of critical, and I want to see what in detail about this activity you can actually go and drill down to BAM, which means that it will take you to the BAM application and you will be able to see the activity in detail. And you reach to the new activity. Another cool feature of, of the um, OUAB is that you can actually select a particular record in the detail and you can see where all it belongs in your visualization. So if you see, your pie graph gets highlighted and it shows that this particular record is part of this particular sections of the pie chart. Another cool feature of this dashboard is to give you the complete PM overview snapshot. So over here in this visualization, you can see that the organization can get an information that how a critical assets of low, medium, high are critical and what are the different cycles which are missed so far on it. So as you can see that some, there are some critical assets where the cycles, more than four plus cycles are overdue on that. You can have a overdue uh, a PM work or to activity by original work here. It shows me the overdue PM, PM trend, how much it is overdue and since when. You can also have the data details of overdue based on the planner part of it. And as, as you select a particular section of uh, criticality and cycle, all the work orders or activities which are there are highlighted in the detail section to show you uh, which are those part of it and how much they are missing on it. And definitely you can help directly move to from OUAB to VAX and see much more detail in the, of that record in the VAX section part. In the PM labor hours uh, canvas, you will see that we have used another good features of OUAV, which is trellis. In this, it gives you the details um, based on the planners uh, between the planned labor hours and unscheduled planned labor and PM, PM labor hours. So we, it gives a snapshot of how your planners are overall doing and how much they are planning and how much unplanned hours are left on with them. Um, based on the selection, you can actually look more detail about different type of resources used and what are the activities and what is the forecast hours for each of the resource type you need to drill on that. And all these out of the box features are actually available over here in the activity. So these are all the out of the box features and the calculations which are available. Um, you have the forecasted resource hours part, which talks you, which, which talks you about the forecasted PM labor hours for next one, two, five years, ten years. So let's see the forecasted PM labor hours, which is this. So in this, you will see that we have used the logarithmic scale to show how much 
labor hours you need for different resource type in next one year, two years, five years, and ten years part. And you and the, each detail of these like which assets, what are the frequency, what is the useful life of this, the dry asset type, and the need of the forecasted labor hours. You can see everything over here in the in detail about that. And then you can further slice it and dice about the details what you need. We talk about the filters at the uh, at the visualization level, but there um, OUAV also allows you to add filters at the canvas level and even at the project level. For example, I want to drill down to a particular section. Like if I'm a multi-utility company, I can actually go and drill down to a particular department and an area, say, say for example, wastewater department, and then I'll see the details of wastewater, like say treatment plants. I want to see the data for the treatment plants and say for plant three. Right. So as you see, as a, as and when I am selecting the my filters, my visualizations are getting refreshed to show me that particular data. Like that. So what you are seeing now is a plant three data. Now, for example, you also want to see plant four data, and you you will see that the plant four data is now getting refreshed for all the visualization along with plant three. So so now the data is plant three and plant four together. So that's a quick overview and a summary on the OUAV features. Hope you like the video. Thank you for your time.